guys, Coach John. Coach Debbie. GM2Revolution.com, and we're, Debbie had this great idea to bring it outside today. We are working out outside. It's cooler. It's definitely cooler. We got more space. A lot more space. So we're going to see how that works for our cardio workout. Cardio. So speed 35. We need to hit it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yes. Okay. Like that's good. guys so that was speed 35 outside we had some neighbors looking at us like what the heck are those two doing you know i kind of thought about that it's kind of interesting to me because people were like walking. outside in the morning they were walking their dogs they were driving to work they were doing all this stuff but they were looking at us but then they would like look away like oh i don't want i don't want you to know that i'm looking like like we were doing something private and like embarrassing and no one should be like watching it it was just so weird because it's like our culture like Everyone wants to give people privacy and no one thinks you should see like the inner workings of what's going on and when people are overweight and they're trying to, you know, get healthy, it's not something that like people think they should be a part of, they should give you privacy to do and it was just really interesting to Like me. they feel ashamed. Yeah, for you almost. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, here, do you have to work out? Oh my, I'm not going to look. And it's just interesting because I feel like the more you take it outside and the more that people see what you're doing like with our YouTubes and with our Facebooks, it's like... It normalizes it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, like it makes it public, makes it normalized. Like, yeah, I'm working out. I'm gonna work out when I'm overweight. I'm gonna work out when I'm not overweight because you just need to be healthy. Yeah, like there's so much besides being fit, besides being lean at the correct body weight, body fat, there's so much. You've got your cardiovascular health, which is for longevity and all that kind of stuff. And then you've got mind chemicals that help do stuff and it's just so holistic to your body and everything else that it's just making you healthy not in shape yeah. and we're gonna pause for a second because we got a truck coming unpause. unpause okay truck went the other way <laughs> um so yeah. yeah yeah so speed 35 today um i did better in it than i did on whatever i was gonna say day one but day one of this week so day eight uh -huh. um did better i I think I do better in the second round. A, I know the moves. Like, so you do the first round, you do the moves, and then you repeat them for 30 seconds. I do better in that 30 second spot than I do in the one minute spot. Yeah, I do too. I feel like it's like, you're like, all right, it's game time, it's short, let's hit it. You don't have time to think about it. You set the small little goal. You're like, I'm just gonna keep going the whole time. Like, yeah. it's a better mindset for me. I'm just in the move better than I am in the first one. It's like a minute, I'm like pacing myself. I'm Stopping. I'm not starting exactly when he starts. Um, so I do better then. I did better on most of my moves. Um, kind of getting the hang of things. I'm less uncoordinated today than I was the first time I did them. Yeah, so like the moves we had better. Like, I usually, I do counts in my head. Like, mm -hmm. I was having trouble with one of them, like, um, in, out, tap, in, out, tap, in, out, tap. And that keeps my cadence or out, out, in, out, out, in, out, out, in. And I realized with the the ladder, the, uh, the, do, do, do the diamonds, I was going from out, in, out, in, out, but I wasn't adding an in in the top and in on the bottom, and that little change made my cadence better. So it was just a little thing to do, and it doesn't matter if you make it shorter, make it longer, you're still moving the same amount of time, so don't stress about that. Just do what you need to do to get the move done and the rhythm, and just go. So yeah, it was good. My calories were actually 10 calories less, but all that means, because I was pushing hard today, mm -hmm. I'm, I felt it harder today, all that means is that my body became more efficient at the movements, and I was able to kick up the intensity. So that's fine, that's perfect, that's what we want, higher intensity, not slower. So I would say, I um, shoes matter. I have some really good new shoes from Beachbody, um, just happened to be from Beachbody, because I got them at Summit, and they are very 
awesome for like their lateral support and so when I was running around I got them but I didn't use them until we came home and we were doing it on carpet so I didn't really feel as much of their effect as I did out here where I'm like pounding the pavement and sliding back and forth harder mm -hmm. and they were really supportive so shoes matter just because I don't want you to hurt yourself and hurt your knees from sliding out or your ankles yeah because like, like so my shoes and we'll do a, we'll do a shoe review of her shoes because these are actually really good i was very skeptical about it i'll do my scientific aspect and how she feels aspect we'll do it again. i like it yeah and we'll tell you anyways so that's what we got um week two is halfway there yeah, that means we're halfway done with the program yay <laughs> um so guys if you want help you want the accountability you want the support hit us up info at gf2revolution.com comment below Hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash gf2revolution. We're here to help you. We love doing this. The more help you guys want, the more excited we're going to be. So let's get those goals dialed in. All right, guys. Remember, it's about getting fit. Together. You're not alone. Bye.